right. They call what happened an environmental injustice. They say that this explosion is really creating a bigger discussion. They say that what happened in Curtis Bay, it's time to see if that coal pier is really making a big impact on people's health. A coal silo explosion at the Curtis Bay Coal Piers operated by CSX shook homes and blew out windows. That was eight months ago. Wednesday, city leaders gathered to give an update on the blast, starting with the investigation. And the cause of the explosion was a localized buildup of methane within the conveyor belt tunnel used to load coal to ships on the north side of the facility. It was determined that an inadequate ventilation led to the accumulation of methane. Leaders are now figuring out the long-term implications and how to prevent another incident. Councilwoman Felicia Porter called out the Maryland Department of the Environment for not monitoring methane levels inside CSX. It's a hole in our in our regulatory approach, um, and we want that we obviously have to think about how to plug it. MDE adding that there will now be methane monitors installed, while CSX says they're implementing safeguards like new industrial fans and extensive air monitoring. But residents say it's not enough. They're concerned about the emissions they breathe in on a daily basis due to CSX being in their backyard. This is the first time uh, CSX and Curtis Bay have been in the same room since this incident has occurred. Uh, and so to have them here and have them answering questions uh, from the council and hearing the, the trauma and the concerns that residents are feeling, uh, I think that's a good first step. The action needs to take place now. People say there's only one way to stop the pollution. We want today to suspend operations. We have heard that it is unsafe. They tell me they want to see this issue put before lawmakers now of every level, both local and federal, so that this can be taken care of on a wider scale and really make Curtis Bay a safer place to live. For now, live at City Hall, I'm Tommy Clark, WBAL-TV 11 News.